Trelink logs arrive at the log yard on our company-owned trucks. The logs are offloaded and kept together as a harvest lot. The logs are cut to specific sawmill lengths, generally 8 foot to 16 feet, where the grade of the log is maximized. Then each log is graded, measured, the footage tallied, and added to the recap of the harvest lot by handheld computer. Logs are stored on the log yard, sorted by length and species. During the warm spring and summer months, the logs are kept wet to reduce the chance of stain and degrade. The water is pumped from a man-made pond Pike Lumber Company designed and built to catch snow and rain. The water is recycled and used again and again. The lumber manufacturing process starts when logs are carried from the log yard to the sawmill debarker. The debarker removes all the dirt and stones as well as bark from the surface of the log. After the bark has been removed, the log travels through a metal detector to make sure the log is free of nails, wire fence, spikes, and any other metal objects. Debarked logs travel to the head rig by chain conveyor, where the round log is turned into a square can. Approximately two to three cuts are taken on each face of the log on the head rig. The head rigs will make about 10% of the boards produced in the mill. The rest of the boards will be made at our line bar resaw. The turn sawing technique is used to extract the highest value board on each pass through the saw. Boards containing too much wane travel to the edger saw, where square edges are placed on the board while excess wane is removed from the edges of the board. After the board is edged, it will go to the double end trim saw, where each board receives its initial grade and boards are trimmed to length. The boards are sorted by grade and length as they are stacked in the back of the mill. The bundles of lumber are dipped in a solution to minimize stain and end waxed to minimize end checking. The lumber is now ready for seasoning. Bundles of treated lumber are taken to the stacker building. Here the bundles are broken down into layers. Air drying sticks are placed every foot, repeating the process until the bundle is reassembled, this time with air drying sticks between each layer. A control label is placed on the bundle, then the bundle is taken to one of three locations. The more difficult items to dry will be taken either directly to the pre-dryer or to a dry kiln to start the seasoning process. Less difficult items are taken to the various locations on our air drying yard where it will stay covered until a kiln becomes available. Kiln samples are used and tested regularly to monitor the drying process. Our goal is to supply the most consistent product with the least amount of drying defects. Once the lumber reaches a moisture content of 6 to 8 percent, we condition the lumber to relieve stresses that have developed in the drying process. Lumber is removed from the dry kilns after it has been properly stress relieved. Dried lumber is now ready for final inspection and packaging. Our 40 bay bin sorter allows us to efficiently grade, sort, and package lumber, a blending of man and machine. Each board is graded by a trained lumber inspector. The bin sorter records the thickness, grade, width, and length of each board. Once the bin is filled, it is lowered and packaged for shipment. A detailed length and width tally for each bundle is recorded. Bundles are loaded with care for shipment across the country or around the world. The men and women of Pike Lumber Company take great pride in producing the finest North American hardwoods available anywhere. Try us, you'll come back.